the tiebreaker. There we go. It's an interesting thing to have in this. You know, it is a round-based game, though. So, I mean, I suppose you do need a tiebreaker if you're tied. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Okay, correct. Reload animation looks a little strange. It almost looks like a... Yes. Almost looks like intentionally stop motion. Oh! oh! We just did all the work, huh? There we go. This is Combat Champions, and this is being made by a 25-person dev team, many of whom are coming from previous Battlefield titles, which shouldn't be terribly surprising because this is probably going to remind you of Battlefield. Infantry-based combat specifically, no vehicles, but good gunplay, good movement, feels pretty good. There is also destruction in Combat Champions. Now, to be fair, it's not quite as destructible of an environment as, let's say, the finals, which this will probably also remind you a bit of, at least aesthetically, but it still is something that this game does and uh, you can use it effectively in combat. It's a very cool function. And again, being it's coming from ex-Battlefield devs, uh, this shouldn't be terribly surprising. Now, this is in a closed playtest phase right now, the second that they're doing, I believe. Uh, this time, I was fortunate enough to get an invite to play on it. Uh, this also means that there weren't always completely full matches. This particular one you're watching right here was pretty close to being full, as you'll see here in just a moment when I check the scoreboard. But it wasn't terribly hard to find any kind of matches at any real time of the night or day. They just weren't always full. Now, the devs were very clear in their Discord channel and page, rather, that this game is not being publicly advertised at all right now. This is all being passed around word of mouth. The only reason anyone knows about it is because somebody told them about it, whether it be a content creator or just be a friend telling another friend. So it's an interesting place to be right now. And considering this is still just completely playtest phase, it really does feel quite good. Now, that doesn't mean that everything's perfect. Now, I can't tell you for sure exactly how accurate these ping indicators are on the scoreboard. What I can tell you is though, is that because I believe because I'm from North America, I had a little bit of a difficult time sometimes getting into a match where my ping wasn't incredibly high, and that really does have a pretty big effect on gameplay. Sometimes it was very difficult just to hit shots or have them register because I'm assuming my ping was somewhere in the high 200s. Now, because this is round-based, point control, infantry combat with no vehicles or really anything that can make the gameplay too inconsistent and out of your control, there is the opportunity for this to be something in between actual competitive and still casual. And I think that's a pretty cool option to have. And I, I know that that was sort of what the finals was maybe going for, but that I think is maybe more competitive than some people are looking for. This, if it ends up coming out when it does in full early access and it's polished correctly, it could be a very great option for people looking for something just a little more casual, but still borderline competitive. Something I think that was correctly identified by Jack Frags in a video he did recently points out that what the game is going for and then what it visually sort of is telling you might be a little bit at odds with each other, meaning that the aesthetics of the game look very much like a game show and a more arcade, completely arcade style experience, while the guns, the gunplay, all feel like they're trying to be more rooted in something slightly more real. That doesn't mean this can't work this way, it just is a little confusing at times in that regard, though it doesn't make the gameplay when it's working good uh, any less fun than it is. There is something else that could potentially be a turnoff for people before they ever even get a chance to play the game or even try the game, and that's simply the branding itself. Now, the term and the name, Combat Champions, and then the picture that goes along with it, you would be hard-pressed to find somebody who wouldn't just assume this was a former mobile game going to PC. It isn't that. It never has been a mobile game. It, as far as I know, it never will be a mobile game. It doesn't play like a mobile game. It very much feels like it's made for PC and or for console and controller at some point. Uh, this doesn't have anything about it that strikes you as being mobile, except for the name and the branding. Now, because it is an early playtest, there's a lot of functions with the game that aren't 
uh, currently working, this being one of them, which is a lot of weapons customization that personally I like. And one of the things I had a hard time getting to the finals because of was the lack of weapons and weapon customization as far as how the weapons are actually played. There's tons of cosmetics, obviously, in the finals, but I don't really care about cosmetics. Uh, there will inevitably be cosmetics in this game, too. But there's just a bigger emphasis on weapon choices, customization of those weapons specifically, and that's something I think anybody who maybe didn't find a lot of joy in the finals for one reason or another, this will certainly help uh, mitigate that a little bit. All right, boys and girls, that's all I've got for you today. If you're interested in this game, Combat Champions, let me know in the comments below. As always, appreciate you stopping in. Have a great one.